Today we're going to take a look at the RTC360. We're going to be demoing the capabilities of this unit. Right now, I'm going to show you how to set up the scanner. First thing I'm going to do is grab my scanner. You're going to notice that I have a silver locking lever. I'm going to unlock it. I'm now going to set that on top of my tripod carefully, and I'm going to re-engage the lock. Now, I'm going to turn on the unit. So now that we have the scanner set up, it's time to control the scanner utilizing the iPad. First thing we need to do with the iPad is to make sure that we are connected to the unit via Wi-Fi on the iPad. I'm going to come in here to my settings and I'm going to ensure that I am connected to the RTC360. It shows that I am, so I'm going to hit my home button and go ahead and open up the Cyclone Field app. First thing we need to do when inside this app is to set up a project. So I hit my plus, here's my project, I can tap on it, give it a name. We're going to call it Sample and hit Save. Once that project is set up, now I'm going to enter into that project. When this project is open, the first icon that we see is to start a scan. When I choose Start Scan, I have the opportunity to set my settings. My first icon is Scan Density. I have three settings, low, medium, and high. I have my photographs, on or off, dual pass, on or off and the visual tracking system on or off. At this point, once I have this set up, all I need to do is hit start. Now that the scan is complete, you'll notice that the data appears on the screen of my iPad. Now the first scan is complete, we're gonna pick up and move this unit. The data will be field registered because this unit does have a built-in GPS and altimeter. Now that the second scan is completed, you'll notice that the second scan appears on the iPad. What we want to do here is be able to link those two together. I can do that by simply hitting the link icon. It's going to ask you to pick the first one. It's going to ask you to pick the second one. When you do, at the lower right hand corner, it says start alignment. I can choose start alignment. You're going to notice that the data is pretty much already put together. The only thing we need to do is hit optimize. Once we optimize it, it's going to better fit it together. Then we hit create link. Now that that link has been created, we have two or three options that we can work with. The first one being, I can look at a 360 degree view of the scan. I can use my scroll wheel to adjust the brightness of the photos. I can also come over here at the top and hit 3D view. On my settings, I can turn my point cloud color to true color, which is going to allow me to see that information in the actual point cloud. Now that we've confirmed the registration on our iPad, we want to transfer this data directly to our laptop. To do so, we need to eject the USB. I come into the settings, eject USB, open the enclosure, and pull it out. Today we have reviewed the RTC360 and its capabilities. If you have any additional questions, please contact imagineit.com.